Welcome to my channel. This video is about the design of a TSPC D flip flop in Cadence Virtue So. Generally, a TSPC logic uses a single clock to implement a sequential circuit. TSPC logic simplifies the design and also reduces the number of clock signals to achieve low power circuit. Design of a TSPSC D flip flop is performed using 45 nanometer technology. To simplify the design, here I have placed the PMOS and NMOS transistors. Let me connect all of these transistors. All the four top transistors are PMOS. Connect the substrate to the VDD. These are the NMOS transistors and this is the PMOS transistors. I have taken the 45 nanometer technology. Connect all the sources of NMOS transistors to the ground. This becomes the clock. Label it with the clock. This terminal as well as this forms the clock and this Label them with the wire. Clock. Clock. Total four clocks are there. These two are connected. The gates of PMOS and NMOS. Take the output at this point. Use the pin. Call it as output is the Q and similarly create another output called Q bar. Connect all the supply voltages here. which is a DC of 1 volt output Q bar
connect a load capacitance at the output of 10 femtofarad Similarly, do it for Q bar. Connect this. Grounded. And this act as D. Which is nothing but data. Check and save the design. I have already defined the data as well as the clocks. Check the properties for data. Voltage 1 0 volt, voltage 2 1 volt, period of the pulse is 6 nanoseconds, pulse width of 3 nanoseconds, delay time of 500 picoseconds. Rise time 50 pico, fall time also 50 pico. Now check the properties of clock. Voltage 1, 0 volt. Voltage 2, 1 volt. Period is 2 nanoseconds. Rise time, fall time is 50 picoseconds. Pulse width is 1 nanoseconds. Check and save the design. DC source voltage of 1 volt. Once the design is completed, go to the launch, click on ADEL, right click, click on edit, perform a transient simulation of up to 30 nanoseconds, click on OK, then select the output edit from the design d is selected clock q and q bar 4 that is d clock q and q bar click on ok now the adl is loaded with the four outputs just click on netlist and run change the graph properties Observe that when the clock key is in a rising mode, the value of D is 0. Therefore, Q value is 0. This will continue up to the next rising edge of the clock. Here it is a rising edge, here also it is a rising edge. At this rising edge, the value of D is 1, so it raised to 1. Again in the next clock cycle, the value is 0, so output falls to 0. In the next clock cycle, again the value is 0, so it is 0. Q and Q bar are the complements of each other.
if you want you can observe the delays initial delay of 500 pico 